Good morning. How are you? Uh, very excited. Me too. Getting, ha- getting directions. I haven't been to a car show in quite some time. Uh, we are grabbing Ken's Porsche, the uh, the Wicked 356, and we're headed um, some direction on this street behind us. Mess Hall at Flight. We're going to be in Tustin. Tustin. We're going to Legacy Cars and Coffee. It's their very inaugural cool. show. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, going to have a good time and uh, show you guys some cars. show for Legacy Cars and Coffee, which is in Tustin. Quite nice. Uh, there's a lot of hoity-toity beautiful cars that are rolling in. Uh, I really like the Corvette that I just showed you guys. Uh, there's a lot of Austin Healey's Porsches coming in. It's rolling. It's nice to see people out doing their thing. Uh, what's up, Chris? Good morning. Uh, we are at Legacy Cars and Coffee in Tustin, right? Correct. It's a really unique location yeah. in that we are we don't have any houses around us, yeah. and it's an office complex that actually needs some uh, traffic, yeah. actually. And then we have so we can scream and yell, and it's fine. Oh, totally cool. Yeah. yeah. And um, then we've got eight restaurants on property, which is great. Mm-hmm. And so, it, you know, it supports the cars. We've got a lot of space, so yeah. it works well. Some very amazing looking. cars in here today. Thank you. you oh, the Lusso Ferraris, mm-hmm. I think are really cool. The uh, Silver Ghost, so we've got some interesting stuff. A little something for everybody. Not a bad show, not a bad turnout Thank for you. the first show. Thank you. I remember uh, one of our first shows, we had 15 cars. Wow. Yeah, we were rocking, but it looks like there's probably at least, uh, we're closing in on uh, 75 to 100 cars. Okay, Yeah. sounds good. Not too bad. And we're not, we're just getting warmed up. Yeah, and uh, where can people go to see more about the show? They can go on to Facebook, mm-hmm. uh, Legacy Cars and Coffee, okay. or they can go to Secret Car Club events. All right. We'll cover it too. Cool. Yeah. Best in show, buddy. It's crazy. I never it's right, thought we'd see one of these. It's right in front of us. What Amazing. is it? 
best in show is the uh, Dodge Omni. Omni. Let me guess what year. Uh, I don't know what year it is, but I know that it had like six horsepower, maybe seven. If it was lucky. But not this one. This one's heavily modded. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is a track car. This is Royce, one of the gentlemen that started this inaugural fest. Yeah. Um, and uh, you're having a good time, aren't you? We are. We're having a great time. We've had a fantastic turnout here for right out of the box, so to yeah. speak. Uh, this is the first event of this kind here at the at the Legacy Flight facility. It's a little dangerous you walking around with that big ass camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you might have to be careful. You want to be dinging ding Ferraris and things. Yeah, that's you know? right. You have to be very, very careful. Um, and uh, Chris told me you had an interesting background. I'm going to say one word. And then you give me your thoughts on this work, okay? okay. Uh, Tonka. Oh yeah, Tonka Toys. I was fortunate enough to, uh, right out of college to get a job there as one of the staff designers, and then uh, within a few years became head of the design department there. Wow. So what we, year was that? That was well. We started in 1974, and then became the director of design in '77, and we were able to grow the company uh, threefold uh, wow. there thereafter in the next few years. So, so if you're refurbishing a Tonka right now, uh, this yeah. is the man. Yeah. So yeah. you have an opportunity uh, on the blog if you're to ask a Tonka question. toy collector, yeah. let me yeah. know. We can leave find a, it to people. Leave a comment down below if yeah. you have uh, a question for yeah. Royce um, uh, about your Tonka or you know yeah. about some history. Yeah, very exciting. You yeah. never know what people are uh, are, are people's history. Is. Right. You're, you're just some dude walking around with a camera taking pictures. Just a guy. Just and a guy. You, yeah. <laughs> and you're starting this show and you got this incredible background. So that's that's very exciting, man. Well, thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Great show. Well, well, thank you. Yeah. We're glad you could make it out. Thanks for everyone for being here today. Help us out and watch this. This is going to be a month a month event. It's going to be held typically on the second Sunday mm -hmm. of the month here at, at Flight Legacy. And so uh, we're just glad to have people here and enjoy. The nice part about this is the property owners here want the cars and coffee back here. And most most times that's always an adversarial relationship. Yeah, this sure. is when they want people here. So car people are welcome and they're encouraged to be here. What an amazing car show, a uh, series of car shows, uh, really fun. You know, it, it's interesting in that I haven't seen a lot of my friends for a, quite a long time because of the whole COVID nonsense that's going on. Uh, and I can't tell you how it feels to go out and, and just, uh, just see people, just, you know, just be able to get out of the house and, uh, and see people that, that we normally see all the time. Uh, and it also teaches us to not take people for granted and to appreciate people as much as we possibly can. But we got home and we got some sad news and that is that um, unfortunately for the last 40 years uh, we have had a seamstress that's worked with Kathy on virtually every job that she's done costumes for, uh, all the projects for Ellen DeGeneres, all the projects for Nintendo and everything else. Um, our seamstress Nina uh, uh, did all the sewing, all the all the clothing for a lot of the, the pro those projects. And uh, recently, just a few months back, she was diagnosed with lung cancer. And then as many of you know, uh, that leads to hospice. And ultimately uh, we found out this morning that she had passed away. And that's uh, very difficult because uh, she was a big part of the success of that company. Kathy is uh, certainly entering into a transitional phase uh, with a lot of the work she's been doing. She's been building costumes for, uh, for a very long time and uh, uh, maybe it's try time to, to try some new things. But certainly the, the thought of the day, uh, appreciate those, those people that are around you, appreciate the time that you have with them, and uh, you know, uh, uh, give them some love. Get, you know, put more love out into the world than you get back, and your life will certainly get better in many ways. I appreciate you guys.
Thanks for watching. We've been doing this for a very long time. We are closing in once again on a thousand episodes. I'm trying to extend it as best I can, but we got a lot of stuff coming on uh, with Wheels and Waves this weekend, Muscles and Mojo on the 2nd of August, and the Murphy Museum is opening actually on the 1st of August. So a lot of good stuff coming up, but uh, we just have to take it slow. As you know, we will get back together soon and have a good time, as we always do, but I love you guys. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon.